AxoTools plugin for Adobe Illustrator makes it easy to work with art that's rotated at odd angles, even when all you have are the odd angles. Illustrators often need to show things at diametric or trimetric angles, which AxoTools makes very easy to do, but you can do much more than that. Here, the left wall, like the street it faces, is rotated 10 degrees from the rest of the building. The simplest way to approach this is to change the projection panel's isometric turn value of 45 to 35. The orthographic art of this wall will now project properly into the AXO view. Perhaps you don't know the rotation of a vertical surface, but you have other art that it needs to align with. Simply measure the angle of that line and use the extrude panel to project it to that angle. In the case of this desk lamp, the two angled arms are already rotated on the left plane, so you only need to project and extrude them. For the spring, measure its dimensions and angle in the side view, then draw an ellipse to match its diameter. In the transformations panel, make the selected circle into a live object and choose the axo left orientation. Enter the spring's length into the extrude distance and add the angle of its rotation. For the lamp head, rotate and position the three ellipses using measurements from the side view. Then add another 60 degree rotation along the lamp's y axis. You can find more details on drawing this lamp in AxoTools online documentation. You may simply want to visualize what some art would look like rotated to different angles. And AxoTools gives you several options for doing that. Use the Extrude tool to drag your cursor with the Command or Control key held down. If you create a live object with the Transformations panel, you can select an axis and drag the dial to watch it rotate in real time. If you assemble something from a series of live transformations objects set to one of the axonometric views, you can slide the dials of the main projection to watch it conform to the document's changing projection. This dodecahedron project is a great example of that. Sometimes you'll have vector art that you need to modify. The auxiliary projection panel can evaluate a selected parallelogram to make its best guess as to the rotations involved. In the panel on the left, one of its edges aligns with an axis of the document's projection, so it can accurately calculate its rotation from that. In the case of the panel on the right, nothing coincides with the current view, so it makes its best guess. Using the Auxiliary Axis tool, you can refine the guesstimated z-axis to something that looks more appropriate in context with other art around it. In this case, we're in luck because the panel had previously been drawn with a thickness for an exploded view. So we can simply drag the auxiliary axis tool along that edge to capture the correct depth angle. Now we can use buttons on the auxiliary projection panel to project other art to match it, flatten art to an orthographic view, extrude or move it, or even constrain our tools relative to this surface. Look for more videos and step-by-step -step tutorials in the near future. Thank you for watching.